all right guys and welcome back to the channel here um so what are we looking at is obviously well for nobody knows this is the neptune apex eb832 um this was the 2016 it's the plastic body with all the nice uh colorful fittings and everything um so on an earlier video i talked about um me actually changing out all of these for well this one for two of the eb8s um, because this actually decided to conk out completely i'm just going to unplug it see how it's still flashing away so a little bit of a backstory um over the past few months last year a lot of these outlets started just individually not turning on or turning on when they when they when they wanted to i didn't have a lot of programming into the apex it was really there to manage like my calcium reactor um some of my other media reactors and just to you know turn off and on the return pump skimmer ato things like that whenever i needed to do maintenance so it wasn't sitting here with all the ports plugged in i didn't have a whole uh, slew of modules uh, attached to it it was pretty much just an easy uh, tool for me to use um, to do maintenance on the tank so with that being said um, what started to happen again was the individual ports started to go out on their own out of nowhere uh, not sure why that was happening at first i thought it may have been a bad um, relay or switch i did some research on this and found that there could be some bad resistors on the board yeah ups and downs contacted neptune sent it in uh, they took a look at it they actually wanted to go ahead and charge me uh, about $180 to repair that the device. Now, I had already opened it up and took a look at it to see if there was anything burnt out. I really didn't see anything burnt out at the time. Um, so I had them send it back to me because I really wasn't comfortable with just, you know, saying, all right, fine, it, it stopped working after, what was it, two years? Because I think I got this maybe a few months after it first came out. So let's say 2016, 2017. Um, so I've only had it for a couple of years it should still work i've seen the eb8s um neptune had a had a nice long track record of devices and port and products that just seemed to work unfortunately this took a dump um after doing a bunch of research and just looking for you know other reefers out there who were having this problem i found that all last year people were having issues with their eb 832s not sure exactly what was going on but it just seemed to be a lot more um, complaints about this particular power strip and it not working or some outlets conking out so after i took it apart and checked everything i did find um, one person who actually pointed out um, same exact situation i had going on so Full disclaimer, before anyone touches their EB-8 or tries to open it up, I'm not condoning you doing it. This is just a video uh, for those who may com may feel comfortable in doing a repair on their device. Um, send it into, into Neptune and have them take a look at it first. If you wanna go ahead and spend the money to get a new one, go right on ahead. If not, that is totally your choice. Uh, I don't need anybody killing themselves, burning themselves up, or completely frying this whole system. So, here's the part. And from my understanding, if I can, if I can remember it right, actually, let me get the part number on here. Um, this part is a step down um, to step the voltage down from an AC to DC and convert the power over so that way the relays on here work. Um, and it's really just this part that controls everything. So I did test out and I went through all of Neptune's, you know, hair, do this, 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 and this, and it should work. All the lights come on, but there's no power. What I did find was in the back here, uh, and it's not really the back of this, you'll see it very faintly. There is actually a little power supply 
uh, light or indicator on this board it flashes well it is flashing red at this point it actually should be on solid and that powers the fan that's on the bottom here and also uh, handles the switching look I am NOT an electrical engineer I've done quite a bit of jobs with electric work um, so folks who may know a bit more about the ins and outs of this particular product may know more than me on that but what I do know is that a two dollar part should fix this and get it working and that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do here we're gonna go ahead and uh, take it apart desolder the old one off uh, solder the new one on I'll plug it in and see if it's working but um, to get back to what I was stating before I got off off track there the there is a hundred watt power supply in here and that powers all the components for the 24 volts and all, all of everything here with the uh, the different ports I didn't have any I, I literally had just a fan plugged in here uh, a little 24 volt fan and that still worked so this will still switch on and off with the apex but none of these outlets will work you'll switch them on you won't even hear a click so that's how you kind of know yeah it's it's something else going on with the main board on the device all of the because it's two separate pieces and you'll see when i take it apart what it looks like um but yeah let me go ahead and do that right now so i can take it apart show you guys what's going on all right so i uh, got the screws taken off there should be actually three screws one here here and one here um, all right so we got three screws on the back of this uh unit there's one here here and one far over here on the other end once you pop those three screws off you can actually just lift this up now there is a couple of small cables attached. You will need to be careful of those. And there we go. Let's see if I can get this little thing here to point at them. Um, so this ribbon cable here, there we go. And this cable here. Now this particular one is for that indicator light on the front, runs up and over to this uh, small plug here. And let me zoom into that <clears throat> there we go all right so we have this plug and this cable uh, this needs to come out from back here and unplug this uh, so all right once you get those off this can move to the side now please make sure that you guys have this unplugged and uh, you're not using it while it's plugged in so here's the uh, the piece that has the issue that is this little board right here let me take this out of the pack so you guys can see all right so if you want to know the this is the part number that you'll want to look for if you're looking to replace that and again it's 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 going to be an issue where nothing works nothing turns on uh, if you do open this up and you take a look back here the common thing is a lot of there we go let me get my little pointer here it's a lot of these chips here 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 and here and there's a few more on the other side those were those will be blown and burnt out and you'll notice uh because this whole solder piece here will be gone altogether, and there will literally be a scorch mark on the back of the uh, board or the, the plastic housing here so <clears throat> that's why i'm going to go in and replace this because what i'm noticing is that when it is energized and powered up um, this operation fan here right there this operation fan doesn't come on and it is actually hooked to this board and there is a small red light that is in here that will continue to just the flash so I'm gonna go ahead and 
uh, take this apart and see if I can get this desoldered and off. So first we'll want to disconnect the fan, move that out of the way. Uh, it doesn't completely move out, out of the way because it is hot glued in place, but you want to move that. Uh, if you do also want to, let me see if I can get this in focus. That's the part number for the fan if you guys ever want to change that. This fan actually keeps this board, um, I don't even know if it's adequately cool because if you really look at the whole thing, let's see, what do they want this fan to cool down? Let's move this out a bit. So here's your 100 watt power supply for the switches here. The fan is trying to cool this whole section and the heat coming out of here. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that was enough. Um, and then especially with the little bit of vents on the back. I don't know if they really did any testing on it. That's not for me to say. All I can say is that it stopped working and that shouldn't be. So let's go ahead and get this taken care of. I'm going to go ahead and crank up the soldering iron, uh, get this board off and get the new one on and then plug it in and see if it works. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, this is the old one. Uh, I was able to get it desoldered off. And right here, that little yellow square, there it is. So right here, this little yellow square is that light I was referring to uh, that was flashing red the entire time. So the new part, pretty much exactly the same. Same board, the layout's the same. So I'm gonna go in and replace it. You can see the light on this one, uh, although it's white. Um, keep in mind, it just stays on. It's underneath all of the components inside of the EB832. So if it's on all the time, there is gonna be some discoloration. So it'll go from this orange, um, well, go from this white over to this orange and that, you know, where you would get the discoloration. Um, so pretty much for all intents and purposes, the whole chipset, everything's the same. And we are gonna just get this new one here, this one, replaced on the board. All right, so I got the board soldered in. Um, here's the old one. So the new one's in, this is energized right now. So I gotta be real careful not to shock myself. Um, as you guys can see this little red light that's on this is the light that i was telling you guys about that was flashing and you really couldn't see it because again if the plastic cover is on you're not going to see that little light flashing immediately uh, probably in a dark environment uh, you'll see it as you can kind of tell it's there so shortly after i plugged everything in the fan kicked on so the fan is working that's good it's blowing or pulling air, I think it's pulling air through, pulling the hot air out of it. Um, here's the 100 watt power supply I was talking about. And here goes the rest of the <coughs> connectors and the board. So for all intents and purposes, this should work as it was before. I'm gonna go and uh, plug it up to the apex, check it out, make sure it connects, and I can turn on each and every one of these outlets and turn them off. Um, if that fixes the problem, I guess I'll have another uh, a pair, a spare power supply or who knows. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and get this all buttoned up. Um, the reason I pause on that is because the EB-8 that I have now, I just use it for what I intended to use it for on it to turn on off, on and off outlets as I'm, main, as I'm doing maintenance and just to make my a job a little bit easier when I'm underneath the tank doing stuff. So we're going to go in and get this buttoned up, like I said, and test it out and see what's good. All right. So got the uh, EVA plugged in and I have it plugged into that bottom uh, energy bar. And here we go. 
and see that some of the uh, outlets came on. Uh, let me see if I can find something to plug in here. <clears throat> All right, so we got a desk fan. Uh, I'm just going to plug it into the first one. And we got power. All right, this was one of the main ones that was uh, showing that it was off at one point. It, the light was on, but no power to the outlet. And that's the symptoms that, that people were seeing there was lights are on, but no power to the outlet at all, no matter what you did. So there's that, that one, this one, this one's off, so no power there. And seven and eight are also off. So I'm gonna see, uh, all right, so here it is, uh, showing up on the screen and EB8. 32 let's check out what the home screen has on it obviously it's going to tell me there's a bunch of new tiles available new outlets uh, let me see we had outlets four seven and eight weren't working so I'm going to throw those down there so seven four and eight all right so we got seven four and eight added in there I'm just gonna go and turn them on show you guys so eight came on four and seven and I'm actually now hearing the audible click from each one of the outlets so we got that Everything's on there. And eight. Uh, sorry, turned off seven. Let's turn off eight. And the two four, which is the top one, I just turned that one off. So I'm gonna go in and turn it back on. And that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off. So that's the full repair on this uh, everything seems to be working um, as I expected it to and let me go in and grab that paper with the uh, information on the part that way I can show you guys all right so here's a quick printout uh, as you can see from the there we go, from the date I had ordered this part back in January um, it wasn't supposed to get here until March but it was a 12 volt 500 milliamp ac to dc step down module that's what it is um, this is pretty much the part that caused all the mayhem on the uh, eb832 and that is the fix uh, at least for my unit um, like i said with the other ones if you see that there's burnt out chips on the back I would say do some research on that. There's a lot more postings from other folks on those chips. Um, if you are not a, a savvy person when it comes to electronics, I would definitely find a friend who is. Um, you can shoot me a comment uh, in this particular video. Um, we may be able to work out something as far as you know uh, what we can do on that. Um, but I don't want to make this video any longer than what it's supposed to be. Um, so if you guys have any questions, go on and leave them in the comments below, but I got it working. Damn. Two dollars. Peace.